choo-choo. Here comes the colorful Sesame Street train. Elmo is in the red train engine. And he's in charge to sound the horn. And behind Elmo is his friend Ernie. He's riding on the orange train car, which is carrying two orange triangle-shaped building blocks. Here comes Oscar in the green train car. And he brought three green cylinders, just like Oscar's trash can shape. Cookie Monster's in the blue train car. And there's four blue rectangle building blocks inside. And Abby is riding in the purple train car, which is carrying five purple squared building blocks inside. Just like this. A clock has 12 numbers. Tick, tock, tick, tock. It's eight o'clock in the morning. That means our friends should be in their classrooms. And it looks like they're running late. Come on, kiddos, let's help them out. The classroom with the number one on it has green doors. And we'll be matching colors with each student. And since Oscar is green, he belongs in this art class. Let's not forget to give him his wooden easel. I wonder what Oscar's going to draw. He has really good drawing skills. Classroom number two has purple doors. Just like Abby's hair. Let's see what class she belongs in. I see a bunch of books. That means she'll be at the library. And her laptop will help her complete her homework. There you go, Abby. Classroom number three has blue doors. Now we know where Cookie Monster belongs. Let's find out what he'll be doing in school today. Seems like Cookie Monster has a math test. Don't worry, Cookie Monster, I got you something. This calculator is a great tool for math problems. Classroom number four has red doors, just like Elmo's fur. Let's help him get into the classroom he belongs in. This is the school hallway. Elmo has to put his school supplies in his locker, like this box of crayons. Classroom number five has orange doors. And I think Ernie is ready for class. Let's help open the doors for him. Oh, Ernie has a basketball game today. And he can't play without his lucky basketball if he wants to win. Let's gather all the building blocks. And while our friends are in class, I think it'll be a great idea to build a playground for them. I'll be using all of the rectangle blocks to make a bigger rectangle and use it as a base for the playground. There are three green cylinders that I'll be using as the columns. Columns are very important. They'll help support our next floor level. And two purple square blocks should be enough to make our top base. And one orange triangle for the roof. Aw, you guys, this looks more like a house than a playground. Don't worry, this looks like a problem magic can solve. Something silly swingy. <laughs> this is a tire swing or columpio de llanta. Hmm, I think we need something else. Bippity boppity balloons. This is a balloon ride or paseo de globos. I think I have another idea. Super slippery slide. This is a slide. Whee! Or resbaladilla. <laughs> Look at this. Abracadabra. So cool. This is a seesaw. Or subi baja. Aha! Now we need something that spins. Dizzy super spinny. Yes, a merry-go-round. Or rotonda. That was a lot of work. Now I'm going to make something funner up here. Round and round you go. A Ferris wheel. Or Rueda de la Fortuna. Tick, tock, tick. It's recess time. Have fun. Elmo's going to have some fun on the tire swing. Woohoo! Push me higher into the sky. <laughs> Cookie Monster and Ernie are playing on the merry-go-round. <laughs> Ernie and Abby are playing together on the seesaw. Here comes Oscar the Grouch, and he's going to go down the slide. That was actually pretty fun. In the blue basket, I'll put Cookie Monster. Elmo in the red basket. Ernie in the purple basket. And Abby in the pink basket. <laughs> <laughs> Reese's is over, you guys. See you after school.